Replacing a closed chest drainage system. Before beginning this procedure, always perform the following steps to ensure patient safety. Perform hand hygiene. Provide patient privacy. Introduce yourself. Use two patient identifiers. Verify allergy status. Perform environmental safety check. Ensure proper body mechanics. Gather all supplies. Provide patient education. Verify MD order. Assess for procedure need. And explain procedure. Educate patient about the rationale of procedure and associated adverse reactions. Materials needed for replacing a closed chest drainage system. Gloves. Absorbent pad. Hemostat. Closed chest drainage system. Chest tube kit. Mask. Tape. Assemble supplies before entering patient's room. The procedure. Confirm absence of air leak by observing water seal chamber or air leak meter. For air leak, do not clamp chest tube. Raise bed height. Don clean gloves. Remove outer wrap of drainage system. Open inner wrap, first the two sides, then the back and front. Inspect new drainage system. Swing floor stand open for setup. Obtain pre-filled syringe located at the back of the closed chest drainage system. Instill fluid into water seal chamber to two centimeter mark. Remove gloves, perform hand hygiene, don gloves and mask. Double clamp tube close to insertion site by placing clamps, hemostat, in opposite directions. Disconnect end of chest tube from old system. Reconnect it to new system. Remove clamps from chest tube. Discard old system and all waste material in appropriate receptacle. Position new system on bed frame. Be sure the tubing remains below the level of the insertion site. Check for fluctuation in water seal chamber as patient breathes. Assess new system to ensure proper function. Adjust suction source as necessary to generate gentle bubbling. Assess patient. Ensure patient comfort.